I built a chat application where you can send and receive messages with all of your friends in any location. Built in 5 minutes using Laravel and PushUp. First thing you want to do is open up your terminal. Run this command to install Laravel. Let that whiz through. Once it's done, you need to navigate inside of your project. Next, we need to install Pusher, which is our mechanism for sending messages. We're going to set up a placeholder controller and a placeholder event. Now that's all done, open up your code in the editor and let's start coding. In your web PHP file, clear the current routes and create a new get route to the home page and point this towards the Pusher controller we made earlier. Copy it a couple of times and change it to a post route and put in broadcast and receive. Next, we're going to go to our app folder, HTTP, controllers and open up our pusher controller. Inside, we're going to have three methods, index, broadcast, and receive. Each of these methods is going to return a view. In broadcast, we're going to pass an array of message, which will be the message we send out when we chat. Same thing is going to be for the receive. In the broadcast method, add the broadcast function with the pusher broadcast event we created earlier. Include the message and make sure you add two others so we don't get lots of duplicate messages. Then scroll up to the top and add in a use so it knows where the pusher broadcast is. Next, open up the pusher broadcast event, add a public message and add another message in the constructor, then pass the constructor message to the public message. In broadcast on, replace it with a return array with public inside. Add a new method called broadcast as and return a string chat. Lastly, scroll to the top and add implements should broadcast. Now we're going to go create the views that we're returning in the pusher controller. Open up resources and go to views and we're going to create three blades, index, broadcast and receive blade. In the receive blade, we're going to have a small div with a class left with message. Add in an image and we're just going to inject the message that we passed in the pusher controller. Then it's almost the same thing in the broadcast blade, but instead of left, it's right. And then just flip the image the other way around. Open up your index blade and add a basic HTML structure. Inside your head, add the JavaScript library for Pusher and then another JavaScript library for jQuery. Then in our body, we're going to add a few divs. We're going to have a div with class chat, another div with class top, another div with class messages, and another div with class bottom. In top, I'm just going to add a div with a p tag plus a small and Let's just include an image too, just to make it nice. In bottom, we just need a form with an input. This is going to be where we're going to input our chat message with a submit button. For our messages section, we just need to include one of the blades that we created earlier. This will be the first message we displayed. You do need this bit. Don't forget to add in your messages array. At this point, you should be able to open it up in your web server. And this is what you'll see. It looks a little bit ugly. We need to add in the styling. To save some time, and since showing you the CSS would mean this video is like 30 minutes long, go over to this URL, which is on the live site, and copy the styling. I'll leave a link in the description. In the code, go to your public and make a new style CSS. Paste the contents in, then go to your index blade, scroll to the top, and add another line in. Paste the link in to your style CSS. Give it a refresh, and now it looks a hell of a lot nicer. But we can't send messages just yet. We need to add in the final JavaScript at the bottom of the index. So after your body, add in a script tag. Inside, add in a constant for pusher. This right here will be your API key. We'll come back to that in a minute. Subscribe to the public channel and we're gonna listen for chat messages. The data that we're gonna broadcast out will be received in this variable. Post the data we received to the receive root that we created previously. Don't forget your cross-site request forgery token and it will give you a response with some lovely formatted HTML, which you can then just append to the previous message in your done function. Then add this line to scroll to the bottom each time you get a new message. To broadcast the messages we're going to send off from our form, we need to capture the event when we click the submit button on our form. First thing, prevent the default action. Then create an Ajax post method to the broadcast URL. It's very important that you pass in your socket ID in your headers. Otherwise, you're going to get lots of duplicate messages. Then pass in the data that you want to send off in your done function. And like before, it'll return some lovely HTML, which you can just append to your last message. Clear the value you've just sent from the messages and scroll to the bottom. Now, all we need to do is get our API keys for Pusher and we'll be able to send messages. Head over to www.pusher.com and sign up. Put your email in and your password. Verify your email and you'll land on the Pusher dashboard. Click Get Started and just create an app. Go to the API keys and copy the details. Then go to your .environment file, find Pusher and populate accordingly. 
Finally, go to your broadcast driver and change it to Pusher and you are done. Open up your web browser in two different windows and you can start chatting with yourself. Or if you actually have a friend, unlike me, you can deploy this to a web server and ask them to chat with you. So with that, I would love it if you'd leave me a like, let me know in the comments what you think and subscribe. Until next time, Ross.